Hey guys, how's it going? It's Blake or Craftmaster here, and today I'm going to show you how to build three easy versions of a cow farm, starting at noob and going all the way to advanced. So let's get right on into it. Alright, so in order to start today's video, we're going to start off with the uh, very simple, very common um, fence, pen type cow farm. And what you need to do for this one all the materials that you're gonna need is a couple of fences and a piece of carpet so you could actually hop up and in now you can get a lot of cows in here but like we could we could breed them pretty easily they're all down here at eye level but the problem is is it doesn't cook the meat for you nor does it really keep the cows inside of your pen because they just escape whenever you hit them which is kind of really annoying and on top of that you like say you actually killed one of these guys you have to go in here to get your meat and then you kind of like trapped in here like you can't really maneuver like if I want to get back to that piece of wool you really can so while it's not the best it's a very simple version and as I said it's pretty simple to make it you just gotta make a little a little area out of fences, just like this. And then throw a piece of carpet in like the corner or really anywhere so you can just hop up on top. And then get your cows and breed them enough times that it becomes a pen like that. But, that's the simplest, that's the easiest. And if you have like literally no materials, this is probably the best one for you. All right, and now for farm number two, the simpler one after the noob one over here, the more simple one, a little bit, a little bit more higher IQ than this guy over here. Um, this one takes into use of the entity cramming. And you can see that there's some cows down here. And the way that it works is you slap that button right there, brings all the cows up, and then you start breeding the cows. Just going back and forth. And because they're on the water, they bob up and down causing them, um, causing new cows to pop up and be able to breed. Once you have them all bred, throw them down like that, and then you'll see they start to get some loot. Um, and this works by just having the cows automatically be killed by, um, entity cramming. So you can have a maximum of 32 entities within uh, the space of a single block at one time. And the way that that works is that it'll start killing the babies first. I mean, no, the babies last. It will kill the adults first. So that means that you will always get your drops from the adults first before it ever kills your babies. So the babies get the chance to grow up and then you can breed the babies and then you can just repeat the whole process by just breeding more and having them automatically kill. And the way that you do that is you're gonna need these materials right here. And really the stairs are optional. They're just there to uh, make it look a little bit nicer. But you're gonna start by throwing a chest down and then grabbing a hopper, putting the hopper into the chest and then make this little guy around here. And you wanna put a block here just so you can throw down some stairs and stairs here, stairs here. And if you want, you can do stairs and stairs. Break that block, put one, two, three, break this block, get your dispenser, throw that guy down right here like that and put a block there. I'm gonna put a button on the side and then put a block here, fence, block, break that block, and then inside the dispenser, throw a water bucket. When you hit the button, it should shoot out the water, and when you hit the button again, it takes care of the water. And the way that you get cows in here, like always, is you just try to lead them in with the um, wheat, try to get them up in here. And once you get two, you can start doing the breeding process again, throw the water down, make sure they both get some wheat. And you can put a fence on top, just to make sure nobody escapes. You don't really need to, but the fence is just there as an extra precaution. So that's how you build the uh, simpler uh, cow farm. And the downside to this one is that it doesn't cook your meat, but it automatically gets it for you and puts it in the chest here. And you don't need to worry about the cows escaping like that one did. Um, and you don't have to worry about um, damaging your tools. It's fully automatic in that sense. All you have to do is breed them. Um, and this is something that can be hooked up to make it uh, more automatic into cooking. And I'll talk about that in a little bit once I cover this one. 
just because this one can be modified to almost be better than that one if you're worried about levels because you can get levels from not only breeding them but also cooking the meat while that this one cooks the meat automatically and does not give you levels for it but speaking of this one let's get into the build of that all right so now for the more advanced cow um farm what you're gonna need is or what you're gonna see is you have some cows up here and some cows down here and the way that this one works is you slap that button and that automatically dispenses some lava that kills all the adult cows that are down here and then you'll see that all those cows will automatically get burnt and die and then their steak will get put into the chest down here and it's pretty efficient because it takes out the time that you need in order to cook the steak but you also don't get the xp for cooking the steak in the first place and you can see that there's babies down here and the way that this cow farm works is you slap this button right here which dispenses water and then you breed all your cows that are up here and then you hit the button there and i think i accidentally hit the trap door that's down there if i can unhit that yep so you can see that there's a trap door here which will drop all the babies down so you just gotta be careful whenever you're breeding them that you don't hit the trap door um but once you breathe the cows and you release the water, all the babies fall down here in or and they just chill here until they become adults. And then once they are adults, you hit this button here, dispenses the lava, automatically cooks your cow food, I mean your uh, beef, and it puts it here. But you'll also notice that this design does make some raw beef, and that's because of entity cramming up here. So whenever you make a baby, it doesn't automatically fall down here. Um, it just automatic. It stays up here because they're resting on the water, and like they're they're just float up to the top here, so they won't fall down. But once you release the water, they can fall down. So you can do it like once you breed two cows, release the water so the baby falls down. Or if you're not really worried too much, then you can do that because eventually after breeding them enough times you'll find this happy medium where it won't kill any baby cows. I mean, it won't kill any adult cows. So if you're really worried, you have the option to do that. But let's get into the build of this one here. All right, so for this build, we're gonna need these materials here. Need some water, some lava, and the rest of these building blocks, just like this. And you're gonna start by throwing down your chest and your hopper like we did in the last build. The hopper going into there like that. And grab your glass, put your glass piece right here. Then all of these blocks can be glass, and you can break this middle one, and then put these two as glass as well. And then grab your dispenser and your observer, and put your dispenser right here, and your observer like this. So now you'll see that uh, the observer is facing outwards, which is what you want. Then you can throw yourself a button on the front. But when you click that, it should give a pulse back here, and then throw a block. It has to be a solid block right here. And if you click it, you should hear the dispenser go off which is exactly what you want and you should actually hear it go off twice but now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to raise the glass up in another row just like this and you actually need a trap door which you can throw right here and make sure that's open and then do some more rows of glass which you're actually need to do this one as another dispenser dispenser there we go and then put a last top row of glass on there and then get yourself a button. So if you click that button, you should hear this one fire as well. And then throw your water and your lava into the dispensers, respectively. So once you have this, you have the main part of the build done. Now you just gotta get your cows in. Um, I'd recommend just building a little ladder or a staircase, I mean, and then breeding them up here. So you get like two cows in here, just breed them together. And you don't wanna hit the water so they actually float up. You'll see that it works pretty good. And um, in order to keep the babies up there, Open the trap, I mean, close the trap door so that no babies can fall through or escape. A little sneaky one. But if you have the trap door closed, nothing will fall through. So you don't have to worry about that. And as you can see, there's a couple of babies down here. But the second that you open the trap door, they will fall through or escape. So just be careful about that. But once you have the cows all set up here, Hit your oak fence or whatever fence you want. Put on top so nothing will ever get out the top again. This is again just another just another precaution because I found that almost every time no cow can escape, but there are always, of course, it is an exception and a glitch that you gotta be careful about. 
So just put a fence post up there so you don't have to deal with that. But once you have this done, you now have the automatic uh, cow cooker. And now what I was talking earlier about this guy over here, what you can do with this guy is instead of just having to have the cows um, die and then just get put into this chest, take the output of this and put it into a furnace. So now with the furnace, and make sure the furnace, you remove the items, not a hopper, because with the furnace, once you take items out, you get experience. So you'll get the most amount of experience out of this build here, because this one requires you to breed and it also requires you to cook it. Well, this one is just a mess and this one you breed, but you don't cook it. So this one can actually get you the most XP. This one's the quickest and this one is the cheapest on materials. So yeah, here are three easy to build um, noob, simple and advanced cow farms. All right, so if you guys did like this video, please do consider hitting that like button and of course subscribing for more content in the future. And if you guys want to see more content like this or more farms, do let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to get those done. And if you have any questions about any of these builds or any other videos, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please pop in and ask all of you questions there. But of course, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I will catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.